Once upon a time, in a quaint little town nestled among rolling hills, there lived a young girl named Emily. Unlike the other children who loved to play and talk all day long, Emily cherished silence. She found solace in the stillness of her surroundings and discovered that silence allowed her mind to wander freely, exploring the depths of her imagination. Every morning, Emily would wake up before the sun, tiptoeing out of her room to savor the peacefulness of dawn. She would wander through the nearby woods, feeling the cool dew beneath her bare feet and listening to the symphony of nature awakening. The gentle rustling of leaves, the distant song of birds, and the whispering breeze were her companions in this world of silence. As Emily grew older, her love for silence deepened. She realized that it was in these quiet moments that her creativity flourished. She began to express her thoughts and emotions through art, painting breathtaking landscapes that seemed to capture the very essence of tranquility. Her artwork spoke volumes without uttering a single word. People from far and wide started to hear of Emily's extraordinary talent. They flocked to her small town, eager to witness her masterpieces firsthand. The townspeople, who were initially perplexed by Emily's quiet nature, began to understand the power of silence. They saw how Emily's silence allowed her to tap into a wellspring of creativity that surpassed words. Emily's fame grew, but she remained humble and rooted in her silent world. She understood that it was in silence that she discovered the true beauty of life. Many would ask her how she achieved such remarkable artistry, and she would simply smile and point to her heart, indicating that it was through silence that she found her inspiration. One day, a renowned art critic arrived in the town. He had heard of Emily's talent and was eager to see her work. He entered her studio, expecting to be met with a boisterous artist eager to share her thoughts and explanations. Instead, he found Emily sitting silently, a serene expression on her face, brush in hand. Intrigued, the critic observed Emily's paintings, captivated by the depth and emotion conveyed in each stroke. When he finally mustered the courage to speak, he asked Emily why she chose silence over words. She turned to him with a gentle smile and whispered, in silence, the mind is free to explore uncharted territories. It is in silence that art truly breathes. The critic left that day with a newfound appreciation for silence. He wrote a glowing review, praising Emily's unique ability to communicate through her artwork without uttering a single word. From that moment on, Emily's reputation spread like wildfire, and her art was sought after by collectors and enthusiasts around the world. But Emily's truest joy came from knowing that her silent expression touched the hearts of others. She understood that silence was not just a void, but a canvas waiting to be filled with the beauty of imagination and creativity. And so, Emily continued to embrace silence, cherishing its gifts and sharing her silent symphonies with the world. For in the realm of silence, where words fade, the human spirit finds its purest voice. Years passed, and Emily's reputation as the silent artist grew, attracting admirers from all walks of life. People traveled from distant lands to witness the magic she wove through her artwork. The town that was once quiet and overlooked became a hub of creativity and inspiration. Emily's gallery became a sanctuary for those seeking solace and respite from the noise of the world. Visitors would enter the hallowed space, their footsteps hushed, as if paying homage to the power of silence. Whispers of awe and wonder would fill the air as they beheld the masterpieces that adorned the walls. Word of Emily's gallery spread, and it became a pilgrimage site for artists seeking enlightenment. Painters, sculptors, writers, and musicians would gather there, their minds attuned to the silent symphony that resonated within the walls. Conversations were held through the language of gestures, nods, and smiles, allowing the art to take center stage. Emily welcomed these creative souls with open arms, 
organizing workshops and collaborations that celebrated the boundless potential of silence. In these gatherings, participants would immerse themselves in the profound stillness, tuning their senses to the subtle whispers of inspiration that danced through the room. Ideas would flow effortlessly, and collaborations birthed extraordinary works that transcended the limitations of words. Despite her growing fame, Emily remained true to her essence. She spent her days wandering through nature, finding solace in the untouched beauty that surrounded her. The whispers of the wind carried melodies to her ears, and she would capture those ephemeral notes on her canvas, giving voice to the silent songs of the natural world. With each passing year, Emily's artwork became more profound, evoking emotions that words could never fully express. Critics and scholars marveled at her ability to communicate the depths of the human experience through brushstrokes and colors alone. Her silent art spoke to the soul, touching hearts and igniting dormant passions within those who encountered it. Emily's influence extended beyond the art world. Her philosophy of silence as a catalyst for creativity inspired individuals in various disciplines to embrace the power of stillness. Scientists found breakthroughs in moments of quiet contemplation, writers penned their most profound prose in serene environments, and leaders discovered clarity and wisdom through silent reflection. As Emily grew older, she understood that her legacy was not merely in the paintings she left behind, but in the hearts she touched. She became a mentor to aspiring artists, guiding them to find their own unique voice in the silence. She taught them to listen not just with their ears but with their souls, reminding them that silence was a wellspring of endless possibilities. When the time came for Emily to depart from this world, the town mourned the loss of their beloved silent artist. But her spirit lived on, forever woven into the fabric of their lives. The gallery remained a testament to the transformative power of silence, continuing to inspire generations to come. And so, the story of Emily, the silent artist, became a timeless legend, whispered through the ages. It served as a reminder that in the midst of a noisy world, the truest expressions of the human spirit often emerge from the depths of silence. As the years passed, Emily's influence expanded far beyond the boundaries of her small town. The world began to recognize the profound impact of silence on creativity and well-being, thanks to the legacy she had built. Emily was invited to prestigious conferences and symposiums to share her insights on the power of silence. She stood before audiences of scholars, artists, and visionaries, captivating them not with words, but with the eloquence of her presence. Her gentle demeanor and serene aura spoke volumes, inspiring others to embrace silence as a gateway to self-discovery and innovation. Through interviews and books, Emily shared her personal journey and the wisdom she had gained from a life dedicated to silence. Her words resonated with countless individuals around the globe, who yearned for a deeper connection with themselves and the world around them. They found solace in her teachings, using silence as a tool for self-reflection, healing, and finding their true purpose. Emily's impact extended beyond the realm of art and creativity. Her message reached schools, where educators recognized the importance of creating silent spaces for children to explore their thoughts, dreams, and curiosities. They understood that in the absence of noise, young minds could flourish, imagination could thrive, and empathy could blossom. Governments and corporations took notice of Emily's philosophy as well. In bustling cities, silent zones were established, providing oases of tranquility amidst the urban chaos. Meditation rooms and designated quiet areas became commonplace, offering respite and rejuvenation for individuals seeking a reprieve from the incessant noise of modern life. Emily's influence on mental health and well-being was immeasurable. Therapists and psychologists incorporated silent contemplation into their practices, 
recognizing its ability to foster mindfulness, reduce stress, and promote emotional healing. The healing power of silence became an integral part of holistic approaches to wellness, embraced by individuals seeking balance and harmony. In recognition of her extraordinary contributions, Emily received numerous accolades and awards. Art institutions dedicated exhibitions to her works, museums displayed her paintings alongside renowned masters, and her name became synonymous with the transformative potential of silence. Yet, amidst the accolades and recognition, Emily remained humble and grounded. She continued to paint in her studio, quietly pouring her heart and soul onto the canvas. Her art spoke of universal truths, transcending language and culture, connecting souls across the world through the profound language of silence. As Emily's final years approached, she knew her time on Earth was drawing to a close. In the twilight of her life, she embarked on a journey to establish a foundation dedicated to preserving the sanctity of silence. The foundation would support research, education, and initiatives that celebrated the transformative power of silence in various fields. On the day of her passing, the world mourned the loss of a remarkable soul. But Emily's legacy lived on through her art, her teachings, and the countless lives she had touched. Her silent symphony echoed through generations, a reminder that amidst the cacophony of life, the whispers of silence could guide humanity toward profound understanding, connection, and creativity. And so, Emily's story became a timeless anthem, resonating through the corridors of history, inviting all who listen to embrace the wisdom that silence offers. Her spirit lingered in the hearts of those who dared to seek solace in the quietude, to discover the limitless depths that silence holds, and to let their own silent symphony unfold.